This is the ground up. everybody <laughs> the fun thing about doing it live i can't fix a mistake when i make it <laughs> all right hey welcome to underground apples everyone if you were in if you're not part of the fiends of underground apples group please join please join us in there lots of stuff going on you can post just about anything you want in there you do have to answer a, a participation question I just do that to keep the spam out, and there, there's no wrong answer to it. Just answer it. You can answer anything. So, <laughs> like, uh, so that's the only reason why. Before I bring my guest on, I'm gonna say, if you are in Southern Indiana, New Albany tomorrow, you might see me at the Enchanted Forest with Jesse. Well, you might see CJ Five Hog with at the Enchanted Forest. Now, I, I try not to promote myself too much on here, but. What the hell? Playing tomorrow night. Chanted for us. Come see us. And Saturday night, I will be playing in Maldra, Kentucky at Dino's Pizza. And I think it's like their grand opening. I'm not sure. I'm just doing an acoustic set. And they said I could sing I could sing the raunchy stuff, so I'm going to. <laughs> Real quick, I got a package today from Coffin Curse Records. Let's feel how well you can see this. If you can, scan it. Cough and Curse Records. My buddy Mike Billups sent me a little care package today. He sent me a cassette, Marble City. Ah, the green screen. Let's see if I can get that in there. Marble City Meltdown. Y'all know how much I like cassettes. <laughs> and vinyl, but, but I'm just kind of a cassette guy because I'm an 80s guy. <laughs> when, when cassettes were starting to be big. He sent me some really cool stickers, too. So thank you, Mike, if you're watching. Funny thing is, Gravel and Spiders, it's kind of an old Louisville band. Uh, 
Amy of Gravel and Spiders sings on every one of my records. She'll sing some somewhere or another. She'll sing on every one of my records. So it's funny. Uh, uh, funny, I got he sent me a Gravel and Spider sticker. <laughs> but I love the Trash Devil sticker. I do, I think I know who the Trash Devils are. I'm pretty sure they're they're on my friends list. I, that's a great band name. And Cortisol, his old band. And I'm rambling. So we are going to bring my guest on because I'm rambling. <laughs> Thank you, Camino Kai. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Tell us who you are, where Hello. you're from. Hi, I'm last known surviving member of a thing called Secret Ion. In the band, I'm called High On because I'm high on life. Uh, but yeah. everybody in real life calls me Hope. Where are you from? I am in uh, what the commoners call Long Island, but everybody in my band calls it Dong Island, New York. Oh, yes. And, uh, <laughs> yes, it's uh, it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely the spot for me. I couldn't get away from it if I wanted to, and uh, I worked harder to stay on this expensive ass island than anybody you probably ever heard of. <laughs> So, <laughs> and I made it, it so far. Still here. Very, very expensive there. Oh my gosh! But mm -hmm. I love New York. Yeah. I freaking, I freaking um, love New York. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It, it, anytime somebody says we got a show in New York, need to fill in, or you want to go to New York, I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we're lucky to be here because uh, you know we just underwent in 2020 as you know the cockopolis. And, uh, you know, that's a whole lot to uh, come back from. This whole state, nation, and world has come back from some calamity together. So we're putting, uh, we're putting together major celebrations this year as a result of uh, finally not having to deal with that bullshit anymore, uh, hopefully. <laughs> so is that the hot tub show? Well, uh, that uh, when I say we, I mean me and my fellow collaborators. Yes, uh, a bunch of us have uh, participated in that. I couldn't even name every single person, and I actually, if I were to do a count, it would probably be uh, I, I don't know, probably thirty different people who are involved in some aspect or another uh, in this operation, which I started working on in November of last year and uh, asking people in very carefully curating the people who would be involved in this uh, particular show and uh, other shows going ahead. It's hosted by The Dirty Show, The Dirtiest Show I Know, which is a burlesque inspired musical comedy and dance organization. We travel a bit and we're coming back from 2019 was our last show. The Cockopolis, the Cockopolis, excuse me, killed us for a time, and now we're back on Dong Island, <laughs> and we're coming for you. <laughs> and you're gonna, you're gonna play the part of Alanis. Uh, I am going to be Alanis, and uh, it's pronounced all anus. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I will becoming her. I mean, become her. And um, <laughs> and uh, it's it's actually a wonderful show. There's uh, not uh, just the one band. We have uh, four bands, actually three tributes, and our opener is going to set the pace for the evening. There's a wonderful. Whole uh, story going that you'd have to see it to know. Uh, no major spoilers will be given tonight, but uh, Meg Hertz is going to open. Then uh, we will have uh, it will be No Doubt, uh, which is uh, run by Good Vibes. They're they're dressing up for us that night because I wanted three '90s tributes. Then the Lannis will come up around ten o'clock. And then uh, we'll have our Beastie Boys tribute end it uh, with the mix master E, 
and uh, th th this whole gang of folks that I met at Bartini in Babylon some weeks ago, uh, and I couldn't help it. I said, oh, they're perfect. I need to have them at this show. So they agreed, and it was uh, an honor to have them and all these amazing bands. Uh, cool Vibes, a.k.a. No Doubt, is a wonderful uh, set of friends uh, from the last several years, and we have a lot in common and uh, common goals and, and heart spaces on uh, many different things. And then, of course, the Atlantis Band, uh, Wavelength, a tribute to the music of Alanis Morissette, is, uh, is, is in the middle with <laughs> a couple of members of uh, Secret Ion. And then uh, Cliff Katropa plays the bass. So we have Cliff Katropa and then Ed Breitkopf is sitting in for my normal John, John Seymour drummer. Uh, from He's going to sit in from 25th Mission. And because uh, Johnny's getting married. Congrats to Johnny. And then lastly, uh, but not at all leastly, is Ed the Shred Pilata. Uh, Shreddy Edder is going to be a future band for us because he's a, he's a ridiculous guitar smith. He's just, they're all beautiful. Every person in this show, the dancers, um, uh, we have uh, Violet Moxie, Zena, the uh, graceful stunt runt, and uh, well, myself, I'll be hosting. And uh, I'll be as the, sing the, the singularity. And uh, then we have Frisky Mittens, the stage kitten, who uh, is wonderful, all of them adored beings and beautiful in every way, uh, physically, mentally, and spiritually beautiful people, every single person at this show. Yeah. And Beastie funny. Boys. <laughs> Beastie Boys are my all-time favorite band. I, yes. They pretty much always have been. <laughs> That's wonderful. I always, say, I always say Paul's Boutique is the greatest album ever released. People are like, what album? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, these guys would get along with that and then some and uh, probably be able to tell you some really good stories. Actually, that's the band that I picked uh, last but not least, and it was such a synchronicity to find them. Uh, because I was at this place on a whim. I don't usually go out Friday night, so to speak, to random places. Like, it's either to support a known band or something along those lines. I just somehow got there, and they were playing, and I was like, oh, you're the final Korean. I need you. <laughs> and so they jumped in. They were they were so good to jump in. They agreed right away. And... Uh, I don't know. I, uh, there's so many people involved in this production. Dan Sweeney is doing security. Uh, he's really wonderful. Uh, uh, I have a wonderful photographer uh, who will be coming through, Ali Sun, uh, and she has agreed to do this. Uh, and I picked her very uh, special skills for this show because she's excellent. Uh, and having it at Nostalgia. A 90s bar is uh, on uh, on 420. To to go back in time with these people is immeasurably uh, uplifting, and that's what we need for our communities right now, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you had a cassette story. <gasps> oh yeah, so I saw your cassettes, and uh, we we talked about it right before we hopped over here, but. I thought it was so interesting because when I was uh, I, I was 11 years old when I wrote my first song, uh, and it was about the Gulf War. And I I just thought it was so silly that we were in the modern era in 1991. That shows my age, but uh, it, we were in the modern era and we're still having war. It seems so strange to me. So I wrote this like. Hey guys, let's like quit that kind of song. But it was like really very lyrical and pretty. And I would practice little. I would practice the song with myself, and harmonize with myself. And I taught myself how to harmonize off a cassette tape player. So those things are very valuable to yeah. uh, my development. <laughs> I love them. 
<laughs> I do too. I love cassettes. I love vinyl too. I got a big yeah. old vinyl collection. I still got my eighties jam box. It's sitting right there. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. <laughs> like that this big. Awesome. <laughs> I yeah, pick no, it up I and wanted it's huge. to get one. I would love one. I wish I had one. Uh, I had one of those nice little, uh, uh, kind of compact CD, you know, uh, players that, you know, it wasn't like a boom box. It was like a, bump it up a little box but it worked it was like you know maybe a half a foot around i don't know it's a little <laughs> but, uh, yeah uh, go ahead go ahead so when i was looking up because i always try to find song you know artists on Bandcamp first always yes uh and we're I on spotify if you wanted to find Ooh. our stuff we were talking about that um, if you go to Spotify, you just look up Secret Ion, and you write Ginger is another word for love, and you get right there. And actually, that was our first single. It was our only single. And uh, it was created out of uh, desperation because when I left my mother's house, not this Christmas, but the one before, she was in North Carolina, I left her house, and someone ran into the back of my car at 90 miles an hour. And I got crunched into two other vehicles ahead of me. It was a four-car pileup. And uh, my car looked like an accordion that was pushed in on itself. And uh, I was like, oh, my gosh. Uh, I, I, I'm alive. I came out without, you know, just achy but no scratches. I broke up a fight. I'm like calming people down while I'm in the middle of realizing that I came this close to death. And uh, I realized I needed to, I needed to at least record something. So we, we, we finished up a recording that I did randomly in 2019 that I intended to put out that year. And uh, <laughs> well, I guess uh, it hit the airways. We went on uh, a couple of like uh, little guy radio stations with it, nothing too big. But it was a nice start. So. We're working on our EP right now, so that's still uh, not released, but uh, we're working on that. We, we did some recording at Beneath the Sun, and I have someone looking at it right now to try and resolve a little issue in it, and then hopefully we'll get that out sometime this summer, I hope. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> you know? Yeah, me too. Me too. But the funny thing about the Bandcamp thing when I was trying to find you on there, and I encourage you to put it on Bandcamp. Uh, yeah, we, we actually do. Uh, we do appreciate band camp and, and we, we we think that that's cool but uh, we, we're not really all about uh, you know over commercializing ourselves either you know right but when I was typing in secret eye on a, a drop down menu came drop you know drop down and, and the band that the very ba the band at the very top was called butt finger cousins Nice. I, was, <laughs> nice. I, don't, I didn't know how <laughs> that connected with Secret Ion. If then it did, one of the, one of the, <laughs> we one had of nothing to do with butts, fingers, <laughs> but, or cousins. But, but finger we cousins. all have those, but not together in the same speech sandwich. <laughs> well, they have a song <laughs> song called "Why Did You Kill My Ants," and I was like, "That's why they're con <laughs> that's why it showed up because of the yeah." Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's bizarre. Lynn. I thought my songs were weird. <laughs> I'll have to check them out. <laughs> they're they're, char they're charging five thousand dollars a song, so they weren't that serious. <laughs> I but. guess. I mean, you know, someone's trying to make money. And that's the difference between, uh, you know, us and anybody uh, who's doing it that way is, uh, uh, personally, this isn't about money. Right. Uh, this is about raising vibes and being very clearly uh, somebody who's, like, not trying to be upset all the time. Uh, I'm encouraging people to be happier. Uh, with the stuff I write. So even though it seems like a little raunchy, like, you know, Ginger's not really a raunchy song, but like some of our other songs are pretty, you know, pretty insane. Like I talk, there's one song, it's called If You Trim It, They Will Come. And it's a, it's, it's a story, a true story 
uh, about my uh, lady parts falling off in a cafeteria. Oh, that's a true story. It oh, is. Man. <laughs> yeah, you have to listen to it when the EP comes out. But I, I, it's definitely, I, I, it's definitely hilarious, and <laughs> it's meant to be, and it's also meant to make you go what, and not be trapped in the box of basic bitch land like everybody else. Uh, because unfortunately, we live in a society that wants people to perpetuate certain mindsets, and those aren't mindsets of chillness. Those are mindsets of like, you know, fear mongering and yeah. uh, I, you know other I, I, other I, stuff that isn't cool. I, I get so sick of all the virtue sig signaling, all the you know. Stuff. I don't even know what that means. Tell me what <laughs> what virtual <laughs> virtue signaling means to you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> tell me, everybody, tell me. everybody being offended by everything is well. You know. That is that is uh, that is unfortunately uh, a symptom of the universe. I know. It is a it is a way for chaos to continue itself. Uh, and uh, what people have to understand that is, is that anybody who uh, is doing something that's uncool isn't doing it because of you they're doing it because of them right. there's some things going on with them that keeps them from understanding that that's not the way to be toward you so you can be insulted and get upset and oh they're virtual signal i don't even know what that is but whatever they're doing you can be upset about that and that's okay but the the high road is to go you know what this person doesn't have their shit together they're being offended by a joke that's I'm talking about my vagina falling off in a cafeteria. If someone gets upset at me about that, there's something wrong with them, yeah. right? Oh, well, I can't mm -hmm. wait to hear that. <laughs> it's really good. It's really I, it's 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 a worthy listen. Uh, I can't wait till it's all done. We did a lot of mixing. Mickey James at uh, at at uh, Beneath the Sun in Hicksville did that whole thing for us. Um, and oh no. Okay, there you here. are. There you are. I, I, I wasn't sure if you could watch I could see us, but not you. I could see me. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> uh, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, it, we, we recorded all that stuff at Beneath the Sun in Hicksville. It's a wonderful little studio. Uh, they recently uh, created it, and, um, and it's, it's a, a, a wonderful spot to, uh, to make your art your sonic art um and thank you to the comments i can't really see them all but i keep I, every once in a while i see somebody saying something cool and i'm like oh that's so nice but i'm like in saying something else but uh yeah we, we did that uh we did that ep there last year and uh and hopefully we'll be done with it in the summertime yeah yeah it's gonna be cool well one last question before we sure. wrap it up we're wrapping up that's the quickest interview awesome <laughs> i have like i have like still like four other things can i say them before you wrap up yeah we got uh, time it's my okay. show i well, can do awesome. that okay cool because uh i i thought this was going to be like an hour i'm like oh i have plenty of time to say all my shit um okay so uh before uh actually don't let me stifle you. You can ask your question now. But <laughs> you you body paint I'll say strippers. My shit. I body paint strippers from Harlem to the Hamptons. I uh I have done this for I, I think the first time I body painted somebody was two thousand nine or something. Like but I've been face painting since I was like nine. So yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to stop giving away my age all the time because that's a long time ago. But uh, I used those skills that I learned and started body painting people. And I've gotten, uh, I've gotten film gigs from it. I've gotten different, uh, <laughs> different uh, types of, uh, of, of parties that I've been invited to, rooftop parties and stuff. Uh, and it's, 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 it's a it's a it's a talent and a skill that allows me to honor women which is really important 
uh, and it's a talent and a skill that also allows me to have some safe space with them to show them what it's like to help other women to feel safe and uh, to honor their bodies and adorn them in a way uh, and still remind them that they're beautiful without the paint. Just like, you know, I don't need makeup to feel pretty. I do it because it's art. You know, right. people get it twisted. Oh, you're wearing all this makeup and you, you're not being yourself. No, I am being myself. I'm an artist. So is every girl who wears makeup. So is every girl who dresses herself up. So is every guy who dresses himself up. So is every middle person uh, who doesn't have a, a distinct or, or certain gender. That's what we're all doing. We're making a, ourselves into sculptures, living sculptures. Absolutely. Does that answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so I did want to say uh, I do uh, a lot of uh, different types of art and music. Um, Secret Ion is the main band. Uh, Wavelength is the Atlantis. Hey, thank you, Camino Kai. That's awesome. Uh, uh, the Atlantis uh, tribute is a new one and uh, very dear to my heart. I can't wait to do this show this week. Um, I also joined a band called Blue Tattoo recently, which I'll be doing for sure. Hopefully I'm not late. Uh, because uh, that is a memorial for a very dear friend who passed a couple of weeks ago from cancer. A very, very good friend. The leader of the Vibe Tribe is why I was her. Uh, Renee Verspool. Uh, so I have a memorial for her that day, and then uh, and then I'm gonna sing and play my flute with Blue Tattoo at night, and just we're gonna be honoring her in the show. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a way for people to help her family, so just stay tuned about that. Come to the show if you see it there. I'll I'll provide you with a way to help her family in the aftermath for swimming up to the stars, our sweet friend. Um, and uh, also, uh, what else do I do? I guess uh, <laughs> I, there's so many things. Uh, I, I've been working on a graphic novel, which uh, oh, hell is, yeah. Uh, it, I, yeah, I, I was calling it uh, Aphelion for a while, but I've changed the name. So when it comes out, you'll see it has a lot to do with some of the uh, spiritual and philosophical disciplines that I talk about. You know, you've seen little bits and pieces in this conversation. Um, like, you know, it, it talks about some philosophies that are really important to me that are about people just chilling out and enjoying life and not getting stuck in he said she said bullshit but you know trying to actually live a happy life and encourage others to do the same uh so uh anyways uh, i guess yeah the Lannis band secret eye on blue tattoo when johnny jewels band sometimes i go upstate and play with this blue grass uh twing twang jug band playing my Hell flute yeah. singing yeah jumping around like a crazy girl just going Whoa! straight up through the woods with the hippies my favorite loving people they're going to actually come down for this some of them uh shout out shout out shout out to howard shout out shout out shout out to faith shout out to all my boys and girls and everybody else in, in between and uh yeah uh i got a good band practice do what else do i have uh, oh yeah one other thing Shecky and the twang tones they're freaking amazing. Uh, we play sometimes at Birdies and Patchog. Uh, I play flute and I jump around with them. Um, you can also see my friend Dave. He's going to be doing this. I don't know if it's showing you the right way, but he's in the oh, yeah. human condition. He made this sweet ass flyer. So you should check that out. That's Friday, April 26th, Bartini Bar and Lounge. He's going to play with these other bands. They're super good Terra Garden and Suburban Decay. Uh, so you should, whoops, you should definitely check them out. Uh, super cool band friends and uh, kind people who deserve your ears and attention, of course. Uh, so uh, between that and this, uh, the, the, this Saturday's 420, that's our dirty show. 
Nostalgia, 380 Wontaw Avenue and Bethpage. And the next 30 show after that, if you miss this one, and you might because there's a lot going on, it's okay. We're doing it again on June 22nd in a completely different way than this one. And that's it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty, sure that, Pretty sure when I get this edited, there will be links to all that in the description. Be sure to click the Great. thumbs up if you like this video. Be sure to click the thumbs up button. I mean to say that at the beginning of the episode, and I forget every single time. <laughs> Stick it up. Stick it up. We love thumbs. Stick them up. That is all our time we have for now. Thank you for listening to Undergroundopolis. Remember, we do this every Wednesday night, bringing you new and exciting artists every week. Be sure to hit up their websites and social media and stream or download their music. If you like this show, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, any streaming platform, and leave us a review as well. I'm your host, Rob Lyon, signing off. <laughs>